¿Cómo están? Today we are going to learn about articles of clothing. Welcome to Teacher Catalina, my channel where you learn Spanish from a native speaker, a certified Spanish teacher with more than 16 years of teaching experience. Today we are going to be focusing on the vocabulary. However, there's a lot of lessons that go along with article of clothing. So make sure that you keep paying attention as I'm going to suggest a few of those video lessons so you can watch it and you can put it all together. ¿Listos? ¡Vamos! Okay, amigos, let's start learning vocabulary related to la ropa. La ropa, that's clothing. You go ahead and say it. La ropa. Excellent. So let's go ahead and break it down into different articles of clothing so you know what you want to buy or what you want to describe if you're talking about clothes. Let's start with el vestido. El vestido or un vestido. Un vestido. Again, if you want to review those definite and indefinite articles, go ahead and check that lesson. Now, talking about el vestido, most often women will wear a dress. However, the article itself, the noun, is masculine. So it's still going to be el vestido or un vestido. You say it. Excellent. La camiseta. La camiseta. Muy bien. Try again. La camiseta. Excellent. Los pantalones. Los pantalones. Try again. Excellent. Here's a little trick. Those are shorts. But wouldn't you say that shorts are just short pants? So that's basically what we're going to call them. We're going to say los pantalones cortos. Cortos means short. Los pantalones cortos. You go ahead. Excellent. Los pantalones cortos. Muy bien. Depending on the country, you will have a variation on this. Socks. So some countries would say los calcetines. Try that. Excellent. Los calcetines. Muy bien. And some other countries are going to say las medias. Las medias. You try. Excellent. So now you know, depending on where you're at, they may be called los calcetines or las medias. Also, if you're taking this class at a school, college, or university, check with your teacher or your textbook, just so you know which one you should use. For this one, we're just not going to be specific for now, but anything that has to do with underwear, we're going to call la ropa interior. La ropa interior. Here's something that you should know. It basically translates into interior clothes. That may help you remember it a little bit. La ropa interior. Muy bien. This one will also have a variation depending on the country. A bathing suit could be called el traje de baño. El traje de baño. Or el vestido de baño. El vestido de baño. And I know there's some other countries that will use other words, but those are the two common ones that you're most likely going to see when talking to a Spanish speaker here in the United States or when you are going through your coursework. Depending on the weather, you may need la chaqueta. La chaqueta. Now remember that Q-U-E, that U is silent. So if you need to check that alphabet video, this would be the right time to do it so you can get that pronunciation under control. La chaqueta. Excellent. Some other countries will also call this la chamarra. La chamarra. So again, make sure that you check which word you should use depending on your situation. Los zapatos. Los zapatos. Muy bien. Now remember that Z could change and have a little bit of a different sound if you're in Spain. So again, I recommend that you check that video on the alphabet. La camisa. La camisa. Generally speaking, when we say camisa, that means that it has some sort of a color. 
La camisa. You try. Excellent. La camisa. Muy bien. A blouse. La blusa. La blusa. Good job. Excellent. La falda. La falda. Muy bien. Now that you know la falda, we probably should discuss the different lengths. So this could be la falda larga, a long skirt. La mini falda, what do you think would be? Yes, you're right, a mini skirt. In case you have to be a little bit more formal, we have el traje. El traje, that's a whole suit. And along with el traje, you probably have to wear la corbata, a tie. La corbata. So let's go over those again. El traje. Very good. La corbata. Excellent. Las sandalias. Those are sandals. Las sandalias. Excellent. When we're talking about hats, we have to make a little bit of a distinction. This kind of hat, basically something like a sun hat that has like the brim all around, that's what we call un sombrero, el sombrero. Again, un sombrero, a hat, el sombrero, the hat. Now, if we're talking about like a baseball cap, that's going to be different. That is going to be la gorra, la gorra. And in some countries like mine in Colombia, we would say la cachucha, la cachucha. I know that's a little bit of a funny word, but try it. Good, la cachucha. Excellent. Remember when we were talking about shirts or even dresses? Maybe you want to specify the length of your sleeves. Like right now, I have long sleeves. I would say, un vestido de manga larga. Un vestido de manga larga. Manga larga means long sleeve. Now, if I'm talking about the specific dress, then I would say, el vestido de manga larga. De manga larga can be also used for shirts. In case you want to say una camisa de manga larga. Or una camiseta de manga larga. Now, if you want to talk about short sleeves, then you would say de manga corta. De manga corta. That's short sleeves. So you would say un vestido de manga corta or una camiseta de manga corta. What about if you want a sleeveless top, like a shirt, a sleeveless shirt? You would say una camiseta sin, without mangas. Una camiseta sin mangas. Now you know the articles of clothing, but before you go shopping, I want to make sure to remind you that you probably should watch the video on the verb costar. Costar. That means to cost. And that is going to be linked here below and also here so you have quick access to it just in case you go shopping in a Spanish-speaking country and you can buy whatever clothes you like and ask for the specific price. Also, maybe you want to ask for a specific color. So it's important that you know your colors in Spanish. So I'm linking that video lesson for you here so you have quick access to it too. All of those lessons go together. And finally, super important that you know how to use the verb gustar, to like, so that you're able to say if you like something or you don't like something. Because maybe you like that long dress, but you don't like that short dress. So you need to be able to communicate with your salesperson. Muchísimas gracias por estar conmigo hoy. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you learned everything that you needed to learn as far as articles of clothing and maybe a little bit more, and that you remember to review those lessons that we just discussed. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love to invite you to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you and I can continue learning Spanish together. And while you're at it, smash that like button. Muchísimas gracias y nos vemos la próxima vez.